Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, in the next uh, 10 years, two-thirds of companies in the S&P 500 will be replaced. The average lifespan of this company have decreased from 60 years in the 1960 to less than 20 years today. This rate of disruption has often been associated with the digital transformation and software. So not surprisingly that the top four companies in the world today in market cap are software companies. So I'm here today to tell you the story of Vonage and how this $1 billion telecom company needed to reinvent itself several times to stay relevant and grow. My name is Tony Jamus. I'm the president of the Vonage API platform. I joined the company after the acquisition of Nexmo, the company I co-founded uh, a few years ago in London, and eventually became the Vonage API platform. So Vonage is a telecom company. But the telecom sector has been performing very poorly in the last 10 years. Actually, it lost nearly 13% of value compared to nearly 70% of growth in, in the world economy. And like many sectors, the sector has been impacted and disrupted by software. Uh, we see this uh, uh, telecommunication application that we all use every day to communicate, Skype, WhatsApp, Viber, WeChat in China, uh, Line in Japan, Th these preferred applications for communication now have been eating the lunch of communication providers, telcos, and turning them into simple data pipes. But before these applications existed, Vonage, who invented voice over IP 13 years ago, was a disruptor in the telecommunication industry. This company was offering Consumers in the US, the ability to have landlines over the internet in their house. You would buy a simple hardware from them, you plug it into your internet socket, and you would have a line line, two thirds the price of AT&T or Verizon. It was simple, it was affordable, and customer loved it. But Vonage also got disrupted from this communication application. Five years ago, this company have seen its growth started to decline. Very quickly, the, the company re, re, realized that they needed to reinvent themselves and do it fast. So the board of director looked at, OK, what are adjacent segments we can get into? And realized that the cloud PBX business uh, was an interesting market to, to enter. Think about the cloud PBX as SaaS for communication. Uh, instead of buying a hardware-based PBX, companies would buy it online. And since it's SaaS, it integrates well with CRMs and help desk software applications. And the penetration of that market is very low. It's actually less than 20% in the US and much lower overseas. But this transformation from a consumer company into a B2B company in software was not an easy transformation. The company brought in a new CEO from Google uh, with an entrepreneurial background to make that shift uh, and leverage the cash flow from the consumer business to acquire five companies in the cloud PBX business. Three and a half years forward, this company now is the top two companies in cloud PBX business, both in revenues and in market share. That also was not enough. The, the company realized that we need to look at what is the next big thing happening in our industry in order to um, avoid the scenario that happened to us a few years back with this software disruption. As you probably know, the platform businesses has been uh, creating lots of traction in the last five years in the market. Actually, according to Cisco and IMD, in the last 10 years, these models, whether it's computing with Amazon and Google, whether it's cars with Tesla or Netflix for entertainment, these platform models have created more than 40% of market cap creation in that period of time. But what the company realized that there was no platform model in the telecommunication services, at least publicly. So you see here that we split the market cap by 
type of revenue, whether it's platform or non-platform, and you see platform models in many sectors, but not in the telecommunication services. So Vanish looked around, you know, what is happening in the platform for communication and uh, identified Nexmo, the company I helped co-found it here in London, as a potential acquisition target. Nexmo was founded here in London six years ago. And what we provided was APIs and, and SDKs for software developers to build communication application. You don't need to be a telco developers to, to build uh, communication applications. So we were able to raise $35 million, grew the business in five years to over 100 million, and acquired over 300,000 customers. You see some of the logos there. In Europe, you have companies like BlaBlaCar, Booking.com, in, uh, in Asia, Alibaba or Tencent, and uh, in the US, a lot of marketplaces such as Uber and Airbnb. So when you're calling your Airbnb, uh, Uber driver, for instance, this call between the driver and the passenger is a programmable communication that's provided by our platform. So we got acquired by Vonage uh, last year, and uh, as a result of this acquisition, we became the Vonage API platform. And now combining the platform for communication business with the cloud PBX business, we're able to double the size of our addressable market. You see the, the orange slice here is the communication platform market growing really fast to 8 billion, and the cloud PBX market growing nicely, a uh, total of 41 billion. So as a result of these uh, bold moves, we were able to pivot the company from a consumer telco company into a software B2B company. This year, the revenue from B2B will exceed the revenue from consumer, uh, so approximately a billion dollar of revenue. Uh, we actually doubled the market cap of Vonage in the last 18 months. But when I reflect on this journey of this $1 billion startup and, and what it needed to do to stay relevant, there's really two skills I see many organizations need to have to stay relevant today. The first one is to continue looking for the next big thing in your industry, and also from outside your industry, because in this case, software came from outside of telco and disrupted telco. And the second skill is to exploit your existing business at the same time as exploring a new avenue of growth. Uh, in our case, we, we exploited the consumer business, optimized it, turned it to a cash cow, and funded six acquisitions in the cloud PBX business and the platform business. Thank you for listening.